Breaking news, the deadly Ebola outbreak in Africa and tonight the first confirmed case here in America. The patient diagnosed here in the U.S. tonight, a team from the CDC rushing to the scene to this hospital in Dallas where he is in isolation showing symptoms. It's believed he's been infectious for several days after returning from West Africa. This evening, the test results confirming it is Ebola. Tonight, word President Obama has been briefed and now the all-out push to track down anyone who may have been in contact with him. In a moment, Dr. Richard Besser with what he's learning right now from his sources at the CDC. He spent many years there. Tonight, he has exclusive access face to face with patients battling it. But first, the case here at home and the questions. What about the planes this man took to America and the community where he was staying? ABC Steve Osinsami leading us off. The CDC is confirming late today what doctors in this Dallas hospital feared that the patient who walked into their emergency room Sunday with high fever and other symptoms is sick with Ebola, the first case diagnosed in this country. I have no doubt that we will control this importation or this case of Ebola so that it does not spread widely. Health officials today trying to calm fears. We identify all people who may have had contact with the patient while he could have been infectious. And remember, Ebola does not spread from someone who's not infectious. The doctors and nurses isolated the patient immediately. This patient left Liberia on the 19th, arrived stateside on the 20th, developed symptoms less than a week later, and checked into the hospital Sunday the 28th. Health officials wouldn't share the patient's flight schedule, saying this person was contagious until he or she began showing symptoms. But compare this patient's story to the dramatic hospitalizations of the American patients diagnosed in Africa, flown into the country in specially outfitted planes, and walking into the hospital in protective suits. Doctors who treated them successfully say this patient's chances of beating the disease improve with round-the-clock care. Authorities aren't sharing too many details, but say that this patient was here visiting family. Tonight, they're watching every one of his relatives closely. David? Steve Osinsami leading us off tonight, and I want to get right to ABC's chief medical editor, Dr. Richard Besser, who is in Liberia tonight getting exclusive access to an Ebola ward. You can see images of Dr. Besser there suited up, walking through. He spent many years at the CDC himself here in America, and Rich joins me tonight. And Rich, the breaking headline at this hour, you've been in touch with your sources at the CDC. This patient had been home here in the U.S. for seven days, now positive with Ebola. Is there real concern tonight about who this patient might have come in contact with? There really is. The hospital will take care of this patient, but the key is finding every single person that the patient came in contact with during the period that they had symptoms. They'll track them, they'll follow them for 21 days. If any of them develop a fever, they'll go into isolation and they'll get tested. So every person this patient came in contact with, they will now follow for 21 days. But Rich, this caught my eye. This patient had gone to the hospital, was sent home, and then went back to another hospital. Does that concern you that the signs appear to have been missed? Well, that is concerning. Every hospital in America has been asked to be on high alert and to ask anyone coming in who's sick whether they've traveled. If they've traveled to West Africa and have symptoms, they're to be isolated and tested. Rich, a lot of people are going to be thinking about the airplanes, the flights that this person uh, took back to America. Is there reason for concern tonight for the other people who are on these planes? Well, the good news for those passengers, you cannot transmit Ebola until you have symptoms. And the symptoms didn't, it didn't develop until they arrived here. And then even when there's symptoms, it has to be contact with body fluids. So there's not a lot of concern there. And Rich, just a few moments left. You spent years controlling infectious diseases with the CDC. How much does this concern you tonight now that we have a confirmed case here in the U.S.? Well, it is concerning. We've talked about this possibility. It, it really reinforces the importance of everyone working together to stop this in West Africa so this doesn't keep happening. All right. Dr. Richard Besser with us from Liberia tonight. Dr. Besser will have much more first thing in the morning on Good Morning America.